Buenos dias. Good morning. What's going on, guys? I'm actually headed out to check more of the island this morning because I didn't get too much of a chance to check it out um, yesterday. But we got some cool stuff. We got some cool stuff today. Super excited to show you guys more of this place. Today we're going to be exploring more of Shangri-La and what it has to offer. It's a beautiful morning. I feel like I feel like conquering the day. It was really good sleep last night. Gotta control the speed, guys, or else we're gonna lose the ball. But now I'm at. Hey, I'm mom. Guys, for those of you that don't know, they have a wonderful adventure zone. I don't think I covered this, but if I if I did, I apologize. It's just that there's great sunlight right now, and I can actually show you. But there's an entire obstacle course over here, guys. We have super stuff going on over here. There's actually little bicycle things over there, and a whole bunch of obstacles that you can fill your day with fun and adventures with. So now I'm heading over to the archery point. We're gonna practice and do a little bit of archery guys, so it's gonna be it's gonna be great. Um, it's a little bit past the sunset pool. And uh, yeah, they actually opened the archery place just for us because they only operate at around 3 to 5 p.m. which is much later on, much later on throughout the day. So I'm glad they're doing this. It's gonna be it's gonna be amazing. So guys, here we've got some information about the different adventures you can go on when you come out here. This is the recreation activity board. As you can see, they've got a flying trapeze school, got archery from three to five daily. They've got an unlimited flying trapeze bike rides. So that's three thousand rupees per person, and we've got learning the ropes and we have bike rides as well so if your thirst for an adventure has not been quenched after all of this i'm sorry to say folks you're not going to find anything better over here in Sri Lanka. guys right, so we're going to try a bit of archery today this is my instructor Pull it some more, pull it some more, pull it some more, pull it, pull it, pull it, pull it, pull it. Okay, guys, we're trying a different boat, different boat stack. This is supposed to be a whole lot easier because that one had way too much tension. The last, the last boat stack had way too much tension. This one is going to be slightly easier. Pull, 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 pull. Good job. Okay guys, we have an experienced archer on site. You have yes. your own archery camp, right? It's gonna go right in the middle, the yellow one there. Yeah. In between the red circle, okay? Okay, I'll hold you to it. Hold it, hold me to it. First, make sure I take this, then my hands I go and pick it in the middle. Yeah. You take the picture of the board, right? <laughs> All right, let's go. Me? Let's go. My action here, then I go take an arrow and pick in the middle, <laughs> and that's how you get the one in the middle, you get it? There's two shots. 
That's how it'll happen. There's too much wind blowing in, in that direction. Oh, wow. Look at that, guys. Not bad. Not bad. We have an experienced veteran here, guys. He's going in for his second shot. Do you have any, any words? <laughs> the middle there, you know? Yeah, all right. Let's see you get the yellow. Let's, let's see you get the yellow. All right. She got a nice, steady grip on that. Fire away, man. Oh, wow. Look at that. All right. I didn't know you were this good. Behind you. I'm a hunter. You know that? Oh. All right, guys. Let's review what he's done over here. So we've got... We've got one shot here in the blue line, one that's completely out of the circle, and one that's just out of the board. But <laughs> he's pretty good, isn't he? Yes. So guys, here's here's the problem. Even if you are a great archer, the wind is just working against you. It's so easy. So when I was trying to hit that board, the wind was pushing push that side. Can you get any closer? Go for go really close. You might actually you might actually get it. If you go like super close. Yeah, yeah, right there. Do it from there. <laughs> it's actually really tough. No lie guys, that is huge. It's actually blowing us towards this direction. So he's finding it tough. I have faith in you. Okay guys, up next we have Atua. Try her hand at archery. You can do this. Where'd it go? So guys, I think that was okay for a first round of archery, but I do feel I could have done way better. But that was the first time I've ever held a bow staff in my life. So I think I did I did okay. At least I hit the actual target, right? Well, not the bullseye, but, you know, the actual target bull. Pretty, pretty happy about that. All right, guys, we're going to take a walk. I have no idea what this place is, but it's definitely a new project that they're, uh, that they're trying to uh, start up. You can see a scarecrow right there in the distance. Interesting. Ooh, look at this little bridge. It's a bridge of wonders and mystery and excitement. Ah, whoa, what is this place? There better not be any alligators over here, man. I'm gonna freak out. Wow. It's really cool. A little pond here, guys. I don't think I see any marine activity going on. But yeah, this place, uh, wow, this place is definitely a project that is still in the works, right? But yeah, once it's done, I'm pretty sure it'll be amazing. Hmm. Maybe we should come back here next year, guys. What do you say? So guys, it's weird, but they planted this sign at the side of this little project that they're doing. So we now know what this is going to be. This is going to be an artisan village, and it's going to be called Kadamadia. Kadamadia. I hope I hope I said that right. My single is crap, guys. Even, even though I'm, I'm actually too long. Yeah, um, it's uh, it's in the works, guys. We're going to have to come back here next year and see what it's going to be all about. But I'm plenty excited for that because that looks exciting. As well.
Penny skirt on, dip my body in glitter. Pop, pop, form, sneakers, all the boys wanna pitch up. Two, 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 four in cars, I make rich look rich off. Save your breath, baby, I'm not going home with y'all. Ah, this is so relaxing. Super duper relaxing. Love that this is a super relaxing and chill way to spend the evening, guys. Beautiful. Is this place magnificent, man? See ya. What the hell? What the hell is that, bro? What the hell is that? Oh, dude, what's wrong with your eyes? You're infected, bro. You're a zombie. Oh my god, my man straight up looks like a zombie. Oh my god, no! Don't kill me! Guys, pool maintenance must be hard. They take really good care of this property. I'm not even gonna lie. I've been I've been seeing a whole lot of stuff since morning, since 6 a.m. They've been taking care of this property. It's a beast, man. Guys, the one thing that's become super apparent this morning is just how much upkeep this property takes. I mean, look. This is just the entrance, all right? And this is a huge place, guys. So I can imagine how many millions of rupees it takes just to keep this property maintained for a week. It's insane. I've got an entire tractor out there. It's crazy. They've got the sprinkler systems going. This place is, this place is beautiful. I'm not gonna lie. But it requires a lot of upkeep, guys. A lot. Guys, I don't know whether you remember the discussion we had last night, but there were, there were one of these uh, monument fountains right in front of the hotel. You can see it from over here. And I did tell you that it was supposed to be a waterfront, um, water fountain, but it was an operation and I told you that place was supposed to be filled with water. Look at this. Same exact thing replicated a couple of meters away from that other monument and it's absolutely filled with water. I don't see the water spouting out from that little monument over there, but pretty sure the cost to do something like that would, would be, be pretty astronomical. Actually, we have two. So there's one over here and one behind me as well. Awesome. Oh my god, no way, is that a real peacock? I thought that was a monument. What the hell, dude? Oh my god, guys, that's a real peacock. That's a real peacock. Look, I kid you not, that's a real peacock. If it comes chasing after me, it's gonna be fun. Guys, I don't think I've ever been this close to a real life peacock. It's kind of running away from me. Wow. Wow, guys. It's a real peacock. Crazy. Wow. I thought, I honestly thought that was a monument, guys. It turned out to be a real peacock. Oh my gosh. It's actually walking back up. Wow. What? 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 That's a real peacock just walking around. And it's gorgeous, guys. Look at it. Hey, say hi to YouTube Live. Oh yeah, you like the filter. I bet you do. I bet you do. But yeah, let's leave the peacock to do its peacocking. And we're gonna head back into the resort. Wow, that was crazy. I love how instead of golf carts, 
they have these elongated uh, tuk-tuks that act as golf carts. Talk about traditional Sri Lankan fire right here. I gotta be honest guys, I don't think I've seen anything like this. This is magnificent. Um, it's actually got their, their hotel logo right there, smacked on the side. It's honestly just the traditional tuk-tuk, but it's been given a remodel, guys. Look at this, it's crazy. That's awesome. Wow. Guys, this is super relaxing. You get to wake up in the morning and you get to really enjoy the view, right? Because you guys are paying for your and for a relaxed state of mind. So guys, right now we're going down to the Gim uh, Hollow Lounge. Hope I said that correctly. Um, so let right down the staircase. There's a lot of things to see over here, and it's very difficult to cover in a day. So. We're gonna try and cover as much as we can. Good morning, ma'am. So, over here we have what I think is just the craziest elephant museum I've seen. Show you guys. museum at least that's what it feels like but guys we're actually in the ballroom area and uh, we need to find out where these ballrooms are because I don't see them so guys as you can see we have long corridors at this section of the resort and I think these big doors are going to lead to ballrooms but let's make sure all right because we came here for a reason, guys. Okay, it's locked. I don't think we can go in. Oh wow, this place is massive and sprawling. And here we go. It does actually say Shangri-La Ballroom, and this is Ballroom A, all right? Which means there's a lot more ballrooms in here. There's, there's a B somewhere, there's a C somewhere, and there's a D somewhere. Some stuff going on over here. What's this? Um, all right, so these are the different activities you can do. Flying trapeze school. Interesting. What do we have over here? Oh, okay. These are ballrooms, guys. So this ballroom is called Hambantura. Uh, they've actually named the ballrooms after actual places in Sri Lanka. So we have candy over here. We have Haputale over there. I hope I pronounced that correctly without butchering it. We have Hatton over here. And over here, last but not least, we have, actually this has no name, interesting. Now let's look for breakfast, guys. Oh wow, guys, look at this, look at this. Amazing. Oh.
He's one of our Travis guys. Just keeps going. Here we've got some Indian food. Some ghee dosa. Awesome. Hi, how are you this morning? Doing good? Awesome. Good pakoras. Wow. Let's go. Indian cuisine all the way. Awesome, then. <laughs> Guys, surprisingly this morning I'm feeling like I'm feeling like getting some Indian food. So I might actually get some dosa. Can I can I get one dosa please if you don't mind? Awesome, he's actually gonna prepare my dosa fresh. I'm gonna have the most confusing breakfast in the history of the planet. I'm gonna do it right here on this vlog, all right? Let's see how many odd things I can put on this plate. All right, guys, let's go. Let's get this. Yes, ma'am, do you have something for me? Plain kanji. Plain kanji. Oh, it's your favorite, right? Guys, I think my dosa is almost ready. He's just making sure that the other side is cooked really well as well. Awesome. Thank you so much, man. <laughs> Thank you. I really appreciate it. Thank you. Wow, look at that. You started with Indian cuisine. And now, we are going to drop some European food in there. We're going to drop some baked beans. We're just going to mix things up. So. I bet you've never seen anything like this, guys. I'm actually mixing Indian cuisine with... Um, wow, look at this. Roasted potatoes. I'm gonna get some of these. Okay, we drop some of that on my plate. So that's roasted potatoes. We have sorted mushrooms over here. Here, guys, I'm gonna get a little bit of that as well. And I'm gonna get one good potato. And uh, yeah, I think that about does it. So, guys, as I promised, we have to drop some Sri Lankan cuisine. You know, your boy has to drop some Sri Lankan cuisine in here. So, I'm thinking of getting a little bit of this. It's called Lunamaris. It's got some grated coconut over here. I'll put my plate over there. Yeah. So, my man's helping me with this video because I only have one hand. I'm holding the camera with the other hand. But you know, your boy had to drop some Sri Lankan flavor in there. So, put just a pinch of that in there. And we're gonna, gonna get some grated coconut in there for some for some extra flavor. Guys, doesn't that look delicious? I can't wait to enjoy it. This. Wow. Wow. I think that's the craziest plate I've made. Okay guys, you saw what we got, alright? Now now comes the little soup, alright? Gonna gently break into the dosa. I'm gonna try some of these big beans with those. I don't think I've ever done that before. Mm, amazing. Like, this combination is so fire. I don't think anyone's ever done it on the planet. Wow. Mm. I'm just gonna break into that sausage just a little bit and try it out. Mm. Now this 
This is a fire breakfast, guys. Now, guys, it's time to get some authentic Sri Lankan hoppers. Because I just finished my dosa and I realized that I need something to complement the rest of the stuff I've got on my plate. So, guys, Sri Lankan egg hoppers are a delicacy. Very few people can say no to it. And I'm gonna go get some. So, are you getting an omelette done or are you getting a. The man over here is making the omelets. And over here we have the famous Sri Lankan egg coffee. Look at that. He's already working on two eggs. That's yours? What yeah. But I'm waiting for a plain hapa too. Oh, okay. Yes, one egg half. We have more stuff over here. We've got fruit. We have a fruit selection. Hello, sir. Good morning. Hello. <laughs> wow. Look at the spread, guys. Woo. Let's go. Let's go. We've got salads here. Wow. Now, this right here is a bodybuilder's dream meal. Wow. Got our selection of fruit juices over here. I might actually get some. So we've got pineapple juice, we've got detox water, and we've got papaya juice. So your boy is gonna get some pineapple juice. Mm -hmm. That's about all we need for now. So guys, first things first, when you're having a green dish, then you wanna take your own sweet time because there's just way too much to eat, right? And um, one be two reading one take your time and just the food is so mouthful and salivating. You kinda of wanna have everything, but you can't. You know, you only have one stomach, right? Awesome. Sri Lankan hoppers. Sri Lankan egg hoppers with sausage. Sambal, amazing. Let's see.
you guys, if you've never been to Sri Lanka, let me teach you a thing or two about Sri Lankan hospitality. After you're done with your meal, and you want to wash your hands, they actually give you a bowl of water with a slice of lemon in it, which has cleansing properties, all right? Just dip your fingers, because everyone over here in Sri Lanka eats with their hands, all right? So, just gonna dip your fingers in there, get it nice and wet, and let the piece of lime, lemon, or whatever they put in there, do its thing, all right? And just like that, wipe it, wipe it down, wipe it down, wipe it, you know, like the TikTok song. But look at that, you've got clean fingers again, you can go in for your next meal. Guys, we are on to round number three. Now, I'm going to show you what a real bodybuilder looks like, all right? We're gonna get some salads in there. So guys, we're gonna start off with a little bit of salad first. Always, always get to you know, get your greens in there. Get some carrots. Rich source of vitamin A. And we're gonna drop a little bit of mayo in there to give it some flavor. All right. We've got some baby corns over here. Okay, and over here we've got bamboo shoots. I'm not a huge fan of but these are button mushrooms. And we're gonna have some sweet corn in there as well. Look at that flavor, it's already looking amazing. We've got some sun-dried tomatoes. I'm just gonna put Piece of that in there. Wow, look at that, guys. We've got hummus in here. You don't want to take too much, you just want to take a squeeze and drop that in there. Got some cucumbers over here. Definitely want those, definitely want those greens. Heavy green diet. Can't go wrong with that. And over here, we've got some Arabian stuff, we've got some Fatouche. Love this stuff, so I'm going to drop some of that in here as well. Got some salami turkey over here. Now, you don't want, you don't want too much of this, you just want one slice of that. This is probably... So this is peppered beef. I'm going to drop a little bit of that in there. We've got some cushions. One or two cubes of cheese, you don't want to overdo it. Look at, look at this guys, we've got actual walnuts here. Amazing. Quite a bit of that. Great, great green food right there. And go for your yogurt and all of that after you burn it. Guys, now it's time for my favorite part. So the desert's right now. Okay guys, no three course meal is complete without desert, obviously. And look what I've got. I've got a donut, a fruit danish, and a croissant. Guys, we're about to get some tea. My man over here is actually working some tea. My friend, can I get some Sri Lankan tea? Yeah. So he's gonna hook me up. And, uh, yeah, I think that's a special blend. Is it regular tea or does it have like something? Uh, lemongrass and ginger. Lemongrass and ginger, guys. Wow. This is gonna be interesting. What's that? This milk made. Okay. 
Remind me, remind me one time what's in the tea again? What's the tea again? Tell me it's a yada tea. Yada tea. Yada tea. And it has uh, lemon. Lemon and ginger. Lemon and, and ginger. Guys. That's right. Well. Sugar's been oh, all right. Not good. Awesome. So, I'm having some very special tea over here, guys. Wow. That gets amazing. Hi, how are you? Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Hi. Bring it right back, wear it like that, move it like that.